Hi, I'm Malibu Sean Bateman here again, and well, I want to talk to all my viewers here about the CFL. And well, believe it or not, the CFL is almost over their season, or about a month away from their their, their playoffs. And unlike the NFL, there the footballs are a lot bigger, the fields a lot better, and the Canadian Football League we're a lot smarter because believe it or not, we don't play in the winter time. We start about maybe May or June-ish, and in November, because of the weather up here in Canada. But America, oh, we've got to play, have some of these teams in the northern state, Continental 48, play in the snow. Granted, it's a good idea, but some of these places, like Green Bay, Minnesota, they have little or no, they have lots of snow that split that area and, and where Green Bay plays they have it's a arena without a top so technically the downside is that every Green Bay Packers fan is well freezing their family jewels off while watching the Packers play in middle of December which I think is kind of Odd, in my opinion, but a good state to watch football while nice and warm. It's a great state of Texas and Southern California, even in the d southern states, which is pretty good. And heck, the CFL at one time did have NFL teams in Sacramento, Vegas, some spots in Texas, Birmingham, and they all, they were so close to having an NFL team in Miami before Baltimore fucked up the idea by saying, oh, we don't want to have a CFL team because we're having an NFL team. But technically, look, at Miami is open for the idea to have a team in, a CFL team in Miami because of all the snowbirds down there. That's what I think about. If you have snowbirds from Canada in Florida, why not you let them have, they might be homesick for the CFL and heck, and give the American fans an old taste of the Canadian game, and that, like up in Canada we watch their game, so why in the not in return they watch our version of football, which I don't mean the European kind, but I mean the American and Canadian version, you see, there's Similarities in the plays and but there, there's some kind of different rules like the third down rule in Canada. America has fourth down. We have one more. Canada has one more player and the, the field's bigger in Canada. The ball bigger in, in Canada. Heck, this this might be a chance to see and see if and some of these NFL fans might see a future player. Of the, of theirs, that uh, you might see playing the CFL and before going to the NFL. Heck, Jerry Garcia. I mean, there was a, I think there was a, there was a, some players that came from played in CFL before going to the NFL, and Ricky Williams and Cinco Ocho, they came up to, to kind of play for a year, but I don't know about Cinco Ocho, but Ricky Williams did actually play a half a season up here in Canada during his year of suspension and Doug Flutie an icon up here in Canada for, for the CFL game he played in the CFL twice but he wasn't the perfect size for the American game but the perfect size for the Canadian game and also he played in the, US, the now the country USFL which Believe it or not, Donald Trump had, used to have a team in that league, and heck, some WWE legends and Hall of Famers and current WWE stars actually played in the CFL. Half Squad Jim Duggan played in the CFL, Hall of Fame, well, and Half Squad and Ron Simmons played in the NFL, Dwayne Rock Johnson, the late Brian Pillman, heck, even current WWE superstar Roman Reigns 
who played in the NFL and in the CFL is in the that played in, the, in both CFL and NFL for two seasons before going into the family business, which is pro wrestling. Heck, he his cousins are wrestlers. His brothers are wrestlers. His father is a wrestler. His grandparents are wrestlers. Heck, he is one of the greatest wrestlers that came out. I think the Wild Samoan training camp and back to the football. You see, in Canada we have the Grey Cup played in November every year in different part of Canada. But and we have and the Super Bowl is the America's big game. And heck, like every Canadian, we watch every, we watch the Super Bowl for for the commercials and the halftime show. And uh, the, every year, the, the Canadian All Star Game is for a different spot. But well, the Pro Bowl is in goddamn Hawaii. Well, every Canadian. It's cursing out Hawaii, the NFL for having their big game in Hawaii. And to me, I think that that the CFL and NFL should have exhibition games, have nine exhibition games, actually eight exhibition games. Every year, one in, one team gets a from the CFL gets a, pa a break. While the other eight have an exhibition game so they can test out which football game the league has better rules. Have half the games play on CFL rules and field, and the other half NFL rules and field. So that's about it for me right now. I'm Albu Sean Beatman signing off.